Hi, I'm Bad Gamer. Welcome back to my Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough series. This is episode 15. In this episode, we're going to do a side mission, a bandit camp. You can see in the upper left there that that's my active quest. It's back in the area that we have already kind of uh, done all the missions in, except uh, there's a couple of side missions out there that are still available. And I wanted to clean those up before we move on to Meridian or whatever the next area is of the game. So I think that's going to be north of the crown here. Revenge of the Nora. Thank you for the reminder once again. Every time I enter and leave a city, it reminds me of that, apparently. All right, we got some striders here. I'm going to grab one so that we can ride it on over to our bandit camp. Kind of weird. It's almost as if they heard me coming up. All right, you'll do. I'll get them kind of deep into the grass here before I do the override so that uh, I'm fully hidden while I do it. I don't want to waste a bunch of time killing these stupid striders. They don't have any good loot and they uh, don't give very much experience at this level, certainly. Looks like a fork in the road. Okay, veer off to the right. We'll ford this river. We'll try and ford it. Come on, go, 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 go. Oops, I'm trying to remember what key stops this stupid mount. And it's circle. Ah, okay. I couldn't remember. It's been quite a while. All right, our guy is right up ahead on the right side on the hill, it looks like. Yeah, right over there. And, uh, checking this area out here. Little structure over there. Bridge. Ooh, it looks like a scrapper pile. Some loot in it. Some purple loot. I like that. All right, let's grab it. Oh. Some collectibles, it looks like. Not really much in the way of loot. Ancient Vessel Drone Hop, I think, is a collectible. I can see my mount's lights behind her. I'm glad you came. You're glad. Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats on them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wiggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble, and rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hunger for sport to slip like blood. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bolster. Say. How about you and I work together? Kill them all. I don't know you. And I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler. With a bow, concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? Of course not. Then you have nothing to fear. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Safe screen for a while. Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. Not a very inviting looking place. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come with it. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. Okay, I'm gonna kill off the mount before we start this. It's got two timers right now, one's gone. I'm not sure, well, obviously one is a knockdown timer, but... Huh. 
All right, there we go. Goodbye. All right. Get to go across the super inviting looking bridge. It just welcomes you. Look at it. Revenge of the Nora, once again, it's like entering or leaving a town. It gives me that reminder. What? All right, I want to make sure I have got my stealth outfit on because I want to try and see if we can do this all stealth. I've got my log mint there. My, got my little modification on there for stealth. Ups it a little bit. So let's see if we can do this with nobody knowing we were ever even here. Couple of dudes here. Let's take uh yeah, let's take that one on the right. Right there. Easy enough. Nobody saw, nobody heard. That's the way we like it. Got another guy over there, crossing his arm, showing some attitude. A bandit thug. <laughs> Pretty creative name. Where are you, dude? Right about... Come on, where are you? Oh, there he is. Goodbye. Yep. Uh-oh, somebody is upset now. Really? Right, I'm going to head back here a little bit try and stay out of view. Is that all there is in here? Just a couple of... Oh, no. There's like one, two, three, four, five dudes. I can't really hit that guy from here. Oh, plus the guy in the tower. So that's six. All right, well, they're all alerted, so let's get up in here and uh, give them something to be alerted about. Whoops, slid right through it. <laughs> all right, let's get down. And really, you're kneeling down behind that tree. I'm not going to be able to hit you there, dude. Get your attention, make you move. Come on, dude. Where are you? There? Oh, that's going to be a plant. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on out here. Really? Right. Get this guy here. Oh, I guess Nil is helping. Huh. Cool. Where's that other guy? I don't know. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five dudes. Six, seven dudes. Yeah, they see me, so I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? Come on, dude. Oh, come on. Really? Die. Thank you. Finally. Oh, my God. That guy was irritating. Here comes a bunch of dudes, so goodbye. Wow. We killed them all with one swing of the uh, lance. Wow. <laughs> Hi there. Somebody shot me. Yellow. Goodbye. Here's something for you. And for you. Another guy down here. Ow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, we got a dude up here. Can we hit him? Boom. No? I can't see the guy. And now he's behind that post. Really? Really? Nothing? Wow. Okay, fine. We'll just keep smacking these guys. Hi there. No, please, stay seated. To the left through here. Really? Where are you, dudes? Get back! Time for you to hurt. Time for me to what? Couldn't hear what he said. Oh, we have these captives here. I think that's where they are. And we got a couple more dudes up in here. Off. Uh, there we go, and goodbye. And here's your buddy right here. See ya. 
And kill the bandits. We still got some more. Where are they? Ah, oh, there's one down there. And I'm guessing that's it. Just one bandit left. Really? Oh, you're an ally. Never mind. Speaking of allies, you guys can't just finish off that one last bandit for me. Really? Where the heck is he? Where are you, dude? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I can try and free these guys. Really? Hold. Free prisoners. Wow. It won't let me do it. How bizarre. Is that a bug? That's another ally right there. Ah. Over to the right. There he is, finally. Come on, dude. Where are you? You up in here? Ah. Here we go. Over this way. There you go. Finally, the last one. Seeker, may I speak with you? Some quest NPC and a merchant here. That's kind of cool. No, we didn't take too much damage doing this. It was pretty simple. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run around and loot up all these bandits. And there's a lot of them. And I'll edit it out so you don't have to suffer through it. All right, this should be the last bit of the loot that I'm uh, getting here in this camp. Slag shine glass. They say she fought like a sawtooth. Supply crate. Slag shine glass again. I wonder what that's for. Crafting something, maybe? Who knows? Anyways, this is the uh, should be the very last bit of loot here in this camp. And then, uh, now that we're done here, I want to go and kill a fire bellow back because I need the heart to buy a new outfit at Mother's Crown. So there's a uh, campfire close by to that. All right, we've arrived, fast traveled over here, right next to them. We saw these guys before when we were uh, exploring this Devil's Thirst area. I see them up there with these big tanks on their backs. Let me highlight a track for one. And then what we can do is go over and use the trip caster and put three trip wires across that path. And these guys are level 18, and I think the... Uh, These guys are level 18. The Sawtooth was 15, so I think three wires should do the trick since two was good enough for a Sawtooth. Let's get over there, get close. Come on, jump! There we go. Get up into some long grass like next that to that track, I hope. I'm not sure I want to find out what kind. Yeah, they have these big tanks on their backs, and you can see liquid floating around, and it's kind of cool looking. They have a flamethrower where their mouth would be if they were an animal. So I'm guessing that tank on the back is probably the fuel tank for the flamethrower. Let's see them there. It's like three of them, yep. Well, my hope here is that I can just kill one. I just want to get one... And uh, once I get the one, I should get the heart, I hope. If I get the heart, then we're done here. But I just got to put something across that track. A couple of uh, Tripcaster blast wires. And I don't think I'm going to hit it from over here. Man, I don't see any other long grass. I don't see any other long grass close to the track over there. So I guess I'll just stick with this. Get around this tree here. Oh. That works. Right across the track. Put a 
Number two. Not close enough. Right there. Oh, really? It didn't keep the other end. Wow. All right, so we'll put it there. I'm not sure if they're going to hit that other one, but they're pretty big. She just needs to be able to get it kind of close here. Really? Didn't let me do that one, so we'll do another one here. Across to here, and that should do it. If they hit that, it should blow up all three wires, and hopefully... Whoa. Oh, he only set off one wire. So you can see, almost half his health went with just one wire. I don't want these guys looking for me. Pretty amazed that they didn't see me, though. A lot of times you set up these wires, and when they go off, I whistle for them to come over here. Oh, good grief, there he is. Hi. Here's another little wire for you in case you want to stick your snout down here again. There you go. Wow, awesome. And they didn't see me. I still had the closed eyeball. I'm hidden. All right, I'm going to grab. Safe for a few minutes anyway. I had to wait a little bit for those other bellowbacks to stop looking for me, and I'll edit that out in post so you don't have to suffer with just sitting here waiting for those guys to uh, get away from me. Well, they certainly don't come over like the uh, scrappers do, you know, when you kill a scrapper roamer, his buddy somehow knows and comes looking for him. All right, I think we're good. There we go. Excellent, we got the heart. We are good to go, we'll save. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please smash that like and subscribe and I'll see you in episode 16.